Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bonding video. I'm going to be bonding Truffle with the new guinea pigs that I recently got. So let's get started. So they're just meeting each other right now. So when you are bonding, you want a big enclosure that is not their original enclosure. The reason why is because the guinea pigs can become very dominant over their things. So you want to make sure that you don't have the same enclosure because bad things could happen. And right now, the small pig is trying to be the dominant one. And this is all normal behavior. They will be chasing each other around. This is a warning. You, if you can't, like... It's hard for you to look at guinea pigs chasing each other and nipping at each other, then don't watch the rest of this because it's going to be showing this. But then towards the end-ish, I am going to be doing a cage setup thing. So yeah. So um, when you set up a cage, you want to have a big enclosure area and put a huge pile of hay in it. It helps them bond and it helps keep them a little bit busy when they are they are trying to like bond and stuff so you won't have too many problems and yeah so i'm just going to be doing the time slot Don't mind that their butts are yellow. I got them and it's actually the cleanest that they've been since they came, which is like three days ago, I think. So, yeah. So I think these two that came together have a broken bond because they keep going at each other and this can happen a lot of times when your guinea pigs are from the same litter and they come and they've been together too long or something and as they get older they just get more of a broken bond or stuff so yeah even if your guinea pigs are just guinea pigs that haven't come together they can still have a broken bond. So be prepared for anything that happens like that. They are going at each other. It's really scary to see this, but it happens and it's normal when you try bonding. So I have a toilet paper tube thing that's like really long if I need it, just in case. So to like separate them. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I put this spicy guinea pig away. 
And um, I am going to be sitting in the cage now because I kind of need to because of what has been going on. I didn't videotape any of the, a lot of the bad stuff that was happening because it was really scary and all the guinea pigs needed a break from each other. So what I have now is I have a bunch of lettuce and I put the spicy one away. And ginger, I mean truffle. And now I'm going to be using this lettuce um, to try to get them to be closer and bonded more. So I'm gonna put this in time flat so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. they're both not doing anything too bad right now so I'm just gonna keep this going and then change to ginger soon all right so I'm going to be switching guinea pigs and I'm going to put the other guinea pig ginger into here and then put mocha into the other cage. So now I'm going to be doing the same things but on time slot. So I started this bonding thing at 920 when they are all in here. And currently it is 1252. <laughs> so I've been in here for quite some time. Just letting you guys know Getting gu guinea pigs is like a big commitment and sometimes you have to stay with them for hours and hours and sometimes it's not fun but you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your guinea pig happy. Right now it's going pretty well. Um, she did make her roll over so I gave them a break from each other and then I gave them a piece of lettuce to share. They weren't fighting and they've kind of just been going up to each other, teeth chattering a lot. And she definitely wants to be, like, the top pig out of the trio. She's going to be the bottom pig because she is not doing anything at all. She's just sitting there kind of letting Mocha and Ginger just taking over everything. So I'll update you guys later and I'll see you in a little bit. So they are doing a lot better now, and don't mind this toilet paper too, but I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and my dad came in here and helped me a little bit with them, and he kind of just sat in here, kept me company because I was getting lonely. But they're pretty, they're doing pretty good now. I've been in here for probably like four hours. So <laughs> I've had a long day of bonding guinea pigs, and I have to continue doing it. I'm not going to film any more of the bonding but I'll give you guys update dates. I know my hand smells like lettuce. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. So it's going pretty good right now. And if they don't have any more like fights or anything, um, then I will end the bonding session and it'll be all over. So everyone calm down and I think I'm going to be setting up the cage because everyone's all calmed down and no one's doing anything. So yeah. This one is snoozing. Well, she was, but she was just laying down. The most aggressive one in the cage was her. So that's Mocha, and then that's Ginger. And there's Truffle over there. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go set up the cage now, and you guys will watch me.